Then, the rest is up to me. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Of course. What is it? I've been asking myself the same thing since we came back to the castle. She was so sure of what we did to my father. I couldn't help but go along with her. I never thought of the cost. Possibly. I guess even a vampire mother is still a mother. She worried about me, about all of us. But she wanted to get me as far away from my father as possible before he really went over the edge. Yes. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. I just didn't expect anyone to care how I felt about her. Thank you. Are we ready then? All right. Here goes. By the blood of my ancestors. She actually did it. Created a portal to the sun. Incredible. Incredible. Simply incredible. Not that I ever saw. My mother had a bit of a thing for magical constructs. Not... not what you're thinking. She just found them fascinating. The Soul Cairn is a tiny sliver of oblivion, the realm of the Daedra. It's ruled by unseen beings known as the Ideal Masters. Honestly, I don't know. Necromancers are always interested in souls, though. So that probably has some kind of interest. Nobody really knows. As far as I've heard, no one's seen them and returned to Tamriel to tell about it. I've read stories. Stories about fools that manage to communicate with them. You give the ideal masters souls, they give you powers to summon the undead. It's all very businesslike. Because most of those stories end with the Ideal Masters duping the Necromancers, who end up dead, or wishing they were dead. I had no idea that her laboratory even existed. She had an alchemy set up in her drawing room, but nothing that even comes close to what's here. Looking at the equipment and materials, it looks like she was trying to advance her necromancy. I don't know. Certainly not longevity. Kind of a waste of time for a vampire. I'm ready when you are. Are you alright? That looked... painful. Now that I think about it, I should have expected that. Sorry. It's hard to describe. The Soul Cairn is... well, hungry, for a lack of a better word. It's trying to take your life essence as payment. There might be, but I don't think you're going to like it. Vampires aren't counted among the living. I could probably go through there without a problem. Not your first choice, I'd guess. Maybe. We could just pay the toll another way. It wants a soul, so we give it a soul. Yours. My mother taught me a trick or two. I could partially soul trap you and offer that gem to the ideal masters. That might be enough to satisfy them. It would make you a bit weaker when we travel through the soul cairn, but we might be able to fix that once we're inside. Maybe. I'm sorry. I wish I knew a better way. Something that would be easier for you. Just know that. Whatever path you choose, I won't think any less of you. Sometimes, things just have to be done. I know that better than anybody. What now?
Are you sure? I'm willing to do it, but you need to think it through. You'll remain mortal, but you'll find yourself weakened within the Soul Cairn. I know this is difficult for you. I hope you trust me. I'd never do anything that could hurt you. Thank you. Let's not waste any more time then. I promise to make this as painless as possible. Hold still. Ah, the smell here. Let's try to handle this quickly. Ah, the smell here. I frankly thought it wouldn't smell like anything. But, looks like we'll be dealing with the smell of rot while we're here. Lovely. If she really is here, I wonder how my mother managed to deal with it. How do you manage to deal with it then? Me? I smell like nightshade and snowberries. Oh, you know what? You should be talking. I have a heightened sense of smell, you know. If you think you smell like blossoms after frolicking in a fetid cave, you are sorely mistaken. But, hey, you're actually not too bad. For a sweaty half-elf. Porker face. Well, that is just not true anymore. <laughs> ah, we... We're being awfully carefree, aren't we? I mean, for being trapped in a realm of oblivion with no guaranteed return. It's... Nice, really. To just... Have fun. Have someone who can help me forget about all the prophecies, Elder Scrolls, betrayals, and this awful God's curse for Reek. About all of this, even for a brief moment. I'm starting to like you, okay? You're growing on me. And what I said is true, though I definitely wouldn't want to end up here for all eternity. We got a job to do. Let's find my mother, and find a way out of here. <laughs>